Good day! In this video, we are going to try to solve question 3C and 3D of the 2022 NCA Level 3 36 paper, Probability Distribution. Without further ado, let's try to read the question. Question 3C is a continuation of question 3B, which is a normal distribution. So the question reads like that. Suggest an alternative model other than the normal distribution that could be used for remodeling customer spend per transaction at this particular retail company. State the parameters of your alternative method. Okay. The other possible distribution, it could not be binomial, it could not be Poisson, it has to be a triangular distribution. So a triangular distribution looks like that. A is the starting point with a minimum spend is $0. The maximum spend is at B, is 250 and the highest spend or the most common spend is at C equal to 130. So the alternative method model to the, to the normal distribution is the triangular distribution where A equal to 0, B equal to 250 and C equals to 130. So if you can do that, that is an achieve and we shall now go to question 3D which is an excellent question. Okay, so we just put the paper apart away, then we're going to do this. Okay, so the question 3D is as follows. Use this alternative model, which is a triangle, triangular distribution, to estimate the probability that a randomly chosen customer spends more than 150 in one traction, given that they spend more than 130. So we will come back to that later, but before that, we need to find the area here. This area here is the probability that is spent more than 150. Okay, so... To do that, we have drawn the di diagram, okay, A is 0, B is 250, C is the most common is 130, and we need to know what is the amount spent that is more than 150. So that is the area we need to find. To do that, we have to draw this triangular distribution, and we need to calculate the height here at C, and also at this point here, X, okay. So we need to get H1 and H2, okay. So H1 and H2, H1 is a formula to calculate that height, you use this formula. The area of a triangle is half base times height, that is equals to 1. Because the, uh, this will be the triangular distribution, every one, every area under the triangle, the probability is 1, so it's equals to 1. So B times H, so you multiply by 2 on both sides, so B times H equals to 2, and then to get your H, because that's what we want, H, we take 2 divided by the base, okay? B represents the base. So in this case, the base is from 250 to 0. So the base is going to be 250, okay? So that's why we get cut the height at C or at 130, okay? It's going to be 2 over B minus A. B is 250, A is 0. So 2 over 250 is going to be 1 over 125. And the answer there is going to be 0 0.008. So this height here is 0 0.008, okay? The height at C, okay? Now, once we have found the height at C, we can find the area because they ask you to spend more than 130. So we need to find this area here onwards, okay? More than 130. To do that, we got half base times height. So half, the base is from here to here. 130 to 250 is 120. And the height we found earlier is 0 0.08. Use your calculator and the area of more than 130, any area from here is going to be 0 0.48. And we need to use this number later on in our calculation for the question up there. Okay, so before we even go further, we need to find the area of this triangle here, okay? To find the area of the shaded region, we have to use, you can use either the formula, which is given in the formula booklet, but I don't have the formula booklet with me. So we're going to use some algebra and some calculus to do this. We are going to use similar triangle. So we have the big triangle here, which is represented by here. And the shaded triangle is represented by here. So this x, this is 0 0.08, we found it earlier, 0 0.08. This length, 130 to 250, that's going to be 120. And this length from 150 to 250 is going to be 100. Okay? So if you do similar triangle, we take the small triangle. So this is a smaller triangle, this is a bigger triangle. So x over 0 0.08 equals to 100 over 120. To calculate your x, you just multiply 0 0.008 on both sides. So x equal to 100 over 120 times 0 0.008. And the answer comes up to 0 0.067. So the area here is 0 0.006 recurring or 67 if you round them up. Okay, now we know the area there. We are going to answer the question. Okay, the question is... Okay, before that, uh, yep, yeah, so... 
0 0.0067 is actually the height, not the area is 0, is 0 0.0067 is actually the height of the triangle. To calculate the area, we need to use half times base times height. So half times base 150 to 250 is 100 and the height is 0 0.067 and the answer is 0 0.0, 0 0.0. 333 3, 3 recurring. Okay, so the area is 0 0.3333. 3, 3, 3. Okay, so now we need to do some calculation. The question asks you what is the probability that it spends more than 150 in one transaction given the condition that they spend more than 130? So x greater than 150 given that x greater than 130. So in the top part, we're going to be x greater than 150, the bottom part is going to be x greater than 130 because the formula. For probability of A given B is probability of A and B over probability of B. Okay, so the B part is at the bottom, so that part is at the bottom, and the first part more than 130 and one more than 150, so we're going to put more than 150. Okay, so more and 150 we found earlier is going to be 0 0.333, and more than 130 we found to be 0 0.48. Put in a calculator and the Calculation will come up to 0 0.6944 and if you can answer that, that's a big E in your question and there's an E7 in this paper. So hopefully you go through this triangular distribution again. I repeat again, the first thing you do, you need to calculate the height using this formula. Once you go this side, you can actually find the X here, the height here, by using similar triangle. Once you find the X, you can find the area here, okay? So to calculate what they ask you to spend more than 150, you have to use this formula. Probability x greater than 150 over x greater than 130. Put in an answer that one, this number divided by that number, and you will get a total of 6944, and that will be an excellent. So hopefully you understand this, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone, and have a good day.